Welcome to video two of setting up a Firepower POV using the separate 6.0.1 image. At this point, you should be running an ASA with the latest ASA and ASDM code, and your firewall should be set up in a transparent configuration and ready to install the Firepower software. In the previous video, I mentioned that you would download two images a image file and a .pkg file. First we need to get the image file on your ASA so you can do a recovery boot and run that image. Note this is a temporary boot and by rebooting the ASA you will lose configurations in this image. The idea is you load the recovery image and then from there install the .pkg file. In command line you can run show flash to get an idea of what images are installed on your ASA. I happen to have the image already installed and the way I did that was using ASDM. In ASDM, under Tools, File Manager, you can select the disk and File Transfer and choose Local PC to Flash if you would like to upload a file directly to the flash. It's an easy way to get this image file onto your ASA. Once you have uploaded the image file and verified using the show flash command that your image is in fact there, it's now time to set your ASA in a recovery boot. The command to set the recovery boot is software module module SFR recovery configure image and the location of your file. You can use a question mark after the disk area to ensure you spell it correctly. Once you set your recovery boot image, use the command software module or sw module module sfr recovery boot. It will ask to confirm. You click yes, and this will issue the Firepower module to go into a recovery boot state. It may take a few minutes for the recovery boot to complete its process. When it's ready, use the command session sfr console to access the Firepower module. As you can see, the module has not finished the recovery boot yet. I'm going to wait a few minutes to allow the recovery boot process to complete. After a few moments, when I session source fire console, I'm able to access the temporary boot image. The default login is admin, capital admin, 123. Once you log into your Firepower module, the next step is setting up basic network configuration. You can do this by typing setup. Now note, this is just to give you temporary network access so you can download the .pkg file. So everything you do here will be removed once you download the file. So it's not necessary to use any permanent type information. You're just trying to get the box online. So you type setup. I will use IPv4. I will use DHCP because I just want to get it online. Once I have a permanent install, I will then assign a static address. But for now, I'll use DHCP. I don't need IPv6. And I really don't need NTP at this point. I click yes. Now I'm online. The next step is to install the .pkg file. You can do this with HTTP, HTTPS, and FTP. Personally, I recommend using a cloud storage option such as Box or Dropbox. When using Dropbox, you must place the file in your public folder and you must use the public link. So there's a copy public link option. That is the link you would use, not the share option. You would copy the public link address and use the command system install and the address of your public link. I use system install. Once I issue the system install and location of my PKG file, I will see it will be verified and then it will start the downloading and installation process. This could take anywhere from 30, 45 minutes, depending on your network connection speed. 
make sure you can ping the source from the ASA Firepower command line before you launch this process. During the installation process, you will be asked to continue with the upgrade, and then later, once it's finished, it will ask you to reboot by clicking Enter. Once the system reboots, you will have a permanent Firepower image installed and ready to configure. Notice that I'm kicked out of the console session due to the reboot, so I'm a session back into the module. When you session in, there may be a delay before you actually see the login prompt. Do not reboot the system, just wait, eventually the image will come up and you will be ready to configure your newly installed Firepower PKG image.